Hello learners, welcome to today's episode. Previously we had looked at the empirical formula and we said the empirical formula simply tells you the ratio in which elements combine to form a compound in the simplest way. But under molecular formula, it is simply a formula that will show you the actual number of each kind of atoms present in a molecule of the compound. For us to be able to calculate the molecular formula, we must first get the empirical formula because the molecular formula is a multiple of the empirical formula. So before we calculate the molecular formula of a compound, we must first start by looking at the empirical formula. And we had said for us to calculate the empirical formula of a compound, we are going to form a table. We know from the question, an organic compound has a relative formula mass of 90 grams. A 7.5 gram sample contains 3 grams carbon, 0 0.5 grams hydrogen, and 4.0 grams oxygen. It means that compound is made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So let us look at the working for this question. And the working is going to be in form of a table where we first begin by identifying the elements that are forming that particular compound. From the question you realize that compound contains carbon, it contains hydrogen, it also contains oxygen. That is the first thing the student is supposed to do. You identify the elements present. Next, you look at their mass. The composition in terms of their masses, we are told that carbon takes 3 grams, hydrogen 0 0.5, and oxygen takes for in that particular order. After the elements and the mass, we go to the relative atomic mass, and the relative atomic mass is usually given in the brackets. So the relative atomic mass of carbon is 12, that of hydrogen is 1, and that of oxygen is 16. Once we have the mass and the relative atomic mass, the next thing we usually do it is to calculate the moles. How do we calculate the moles? We said to get the moles, you take the mass, you divide by the relative atomic mass or simply the molar mass. That is, if you take 3, you divide by 12, this one will give you a quarter which translates to 0.25. If you take the mass divided by the relative atomic mass of hydrogen, it is going to give us, that is 0 0.5 divided by 1, it gives us 0 0.5. And lastly, if you take 4 divided by 16, it is also going to give us 0 0.25. After getting the moles, we go down and calculate what we call the mole ratio. To get the mole ratio, we usually divide by the smallest. That is, we look at the masses. That is, we look at the moles, I mean, sorry. The moles of carbon is 0 0.25, that of hydrogen is 0 0.5, and that of oxygen is 0 0.25. So the smallest among these values is 0 0.25. So if you take 0 0.25, divide by 0 0.25 it's going to give you 1 and then if you take 0. Point, 0 0.5 divide by 0 0.25 it is going to give us 2 and if you take 0 0.5 divided by 0, uh, 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.25 it is going to give us 1 and therefore from there now 
we can be able to write the empirical formula and the empirical formula is going to be equal to carbon we only have one atom of carbon two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen that gives us what we call the empirical formula from the empirical formula we are able to get the molecular formula what we do is that if you take the molecular mass of the empirical formula you multiply by n it will be able to give you what we call the relative formula mass that is the empirical formula that is the mass of the empirical formula mass of empirical formula we multiply by n where n is the whole number it must be able to give us what we call the relative molecular formula mass from there we know we have ch2o we multiply by n this must be able to give us 90 from there we are supposed to convert the empirical formula into the mass and we know the mass of carbon is usually 12 plus that of hydrogen is one but we have two here so we multiply by two to give us two plus that of oxygen is 16 we multiply by n this one will give us 90. if you take 12 plus 2 it gives us 14 14 plus 16 it gives us 30 times n which is 30 n and this will, will give us 90. so if you want to get n you divide by 30 on both sides and therefore our n is going to be equal to 3. so to get what we call the molecular formula we are going to take the empirical formula which is c h2 o we multiply by n and our n is 3 and therefore our molecular formula is going to be c times 3 which gives us c3 h2 times 3 will give us 6 then oxygen is 1 times 3 it will give us 3 and that is the answer to that question